life begins I'm living right here and now And I don't want to miss out Is this what life's all about? The world is calling and I'm listening Yeah, I'm listening I feel the freedom inside Come on, let's go for a ride I finally opened my eyes And I can see it so
Hello, and welcome to the virtual ceremony of the 152nd Commencement Exercises of Worcester Polytechnic Institute. I'm Joyce Klein, and I have the honor and pleasure of representing the WPI Board of Trustees at today's ceremony. We are thrilled to welcome graduates, family members, and friends from across the globe to today's ceremony. We will begin with the national anthem performed by the WPI Choir. Thereafter, President Lori Leshen will, provide, will preside over, to, over today's ceremony. Good morning, or maybe it's good afternoon, or perhaps even good evening. Wherever you are, whatever time it is for you, congratulations to the great class of 2021. To our graduates, to your families, to your guests, all watching together on our live stream, I am truly honored and delighted to welcome you to our first ever virtual ceremony as part of the 152nd commencement exercises at WPI. To our distinguished faculty and staff who join us online today, I know you are just as excited as, and proud as I am because you have been with these remarkable students every step of the way. Thanks to all of you who have joined us today. Today we gather to honor the students in the great WPI class of 2021. And it's a big class. This year we will confer over 1,000 bachelor's degrees, over 770 master's degrees, and a record number of PhDs at 70. These striking numbers do far more than tally the score for 2021. They illustrate the momentum taking place all across our campus community. They attest to the wisdom of your choice to pursue your studies at WPI. And they are the direct results of the contributions that each of you have made to the excellence and reputation of this great university. Whether you've been at WPI for one year or five years, or more, you have all stretched yourselves as individuals and as scholars. You have overcome setbacks and you've pushed the boundaries of knowledge in your field. But perhaps most significantly, you have persevered through a once in a century event, an event we've come through together. We will be forever bonded, not only because of what we came through together, but because of how we came through it. I know that when I reflect back on this unprecedented time in our lives, I will always think of you, the great class of 2021, 
and what all of you did individually and collectively to keep WPI safe and to make it to this moment, the moment we celebrate you. I won't dwell on COVID anymore today because your experience at WPI was so much more than that. But I will say that the pride that I have in you, which was already over the moon, by the way, has grown exponentially this year. Your determination, grit, and achievement assure me, and they should assure everyone watching, that you all will go on to make your positive impact in the world. Nearly 100 of you are participating in our virtual ceremony today, and I am as proud of you as the students who came to campus to cross this stage over the last few days. And I am especially excited that we get to celebrate your achievements together. I confess to feeling a lump in my throat at the thought of bidding you goodbye for now, but more than sadness to see you go, I feel a great sense of pride in all you have accomplished and a deep certainty that you are ready to take on the new challenges that await you beyond our campus. I know this and your professors and your loved ones know it too because during your time at WPI, we have all watched and hopefully helped you find your passions, hone your strengths. We've seen you work very hard and we've seen you truly make a difference, each and every one of you. The amazing thing about education is the deeper learning you have pursued gives you a unique lens on the challenges facing our world, propelling the impact that you will make in the years ahead. And so, as you graduate today, I leave you with two final requests. First, I challenge you to focus on the opportunities ahead, yes, but not to overlook the responsibilities ahead. With this education and your capabilities, we know you will do well in your career and do well for your families. My charge to you, class of 2021, is that you also be sure and do good for your community, for your nation, for the planet. Your WPI education has prepared you to make an impact on a much broader stage. So apply what you have learned here for good. Use your WPI degree to continue to make us proud. And second, I ask you to stay connected to us at WPI. Help us continue to elevate this place. Help us spread the word about what's happening here. Come back from time to time and share your story with our current students. You are part of the WPI family forever, and it is this family that makes WPI so special. Graduates, the degree you have earned today is yours forever, and it connects you deeply to the generations of WPI alumni who come before you, and now you have the opportunity, as more than 150 years of WPI graduates have, to shape and to safeguard the world for future generations. Now, many of you know that I used to work at NASA, and so I am going to send you off with my best Na impression of NASA mission control. But before I do, I want to wish you well on your journey. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations and best wishes to all of you, the great class of 2021. Okay, back to mission control and everyone at home, all the families, all the friends, I need your help with this one, say it with me. Class of 2021, you are go for launch in five, four, three, two, one, lift off. Thanks very much. It's our custom at commencement to hear from a representative of the graduating students. And the student speaker for today's ceremony is Shivani Kumar. Shivani is a transportation systems engineer at the IBI Group in Boston, Massachusetts. She earned her bachelor's in civil engineering at Wentworth Institute of Technology in 2018 and has received her master's in civil engineering from WPI at these ceremonies. Her professional career includes highway, structural, and transportation engineering roles, she is also a transit plus outreach volunteer for Livable Streets Alliance, a Metro Boston-based advocacy group that envisions a world where the streets are safe, vibrant public spaces and that connect people to places where they live, work, and play. Shivani's career goals 
are to advance transportation equity and justice to increase access and opportunities for all communities. She currently serves as the co-chair for WTS Boston's Diversity Committee, where she supports meaningful events, programming, and initiatives to solidify her commitment to genuine diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts in her workplace, industry, and greater community. The title of her address is, And You Will Thrive, Shivani. Thank you, President Lesh. Good morning and welcome to the Worcester Polytechnic Institute, class of 2021 commencement. My name is Shivani Kumar, and I'm thrilled to join this group of family, friends, faculty, staff, most importantly, my fellow graduates. To be standing before you as your student commencement speaker humbles me beyond belief. Thank you for the honor. This day is my definition of bittersweet. As graduate students, we walked into our master's and PhD programs a little wiser and more sure of our plans than our wide-eyed undergraduate selves. Whether you were coming back to campus again, stepping onto new territory, or never left, we knew to expect rigorous coursework and research with exceptionally powerful experiences. We were ready to see our plans come to life, or so we thought. As a master's student in the civil engineering program, I began as a full-time student with plans of becoming a structural engineer on building projects. After my first year as a full-time student, I'd realized just how much I missed my real-world experience. So I began working full-time as a bridge engineer and shifted my graduate studies part-time. As of April 26th, I had accepted a new full-time job taking on the role of a transportation professional aiming to advance safety, accessibility, and equity for all communities through strong, sustainable, and reliable transportation and transit solutions. And now, I'm here with you all graduating. A lot can change in a few years. I believe my expansive, unpredictable, and sometimes terrifying growth is not unique. We all took, in the best possible stride we could, a global pandemic along with our deadlines and exams. What could have been the greatest challenge instead became a powerful motivator, a mindset shift, a long, long moment of reflection. To be here despite horrific, unimaginable global circumstances of the past year is due to our hard work, passion, and community. I have been blessed to have a support system that has guided me and gotten me through just about anything and everything these past few years. Through professors who believed in our abilities, pushing us to strive without limits. Staff who thanklessly worked behind the scenes, making sure our spotlight shined as bright as possible. Friends who became chosen family, celebrating our highs and supporting our lows, and family who were always a phone call away, no matter the time of day. We have had a support system that has raised our endeavors and successes to heights that feel higher and steeper than Worcester Seven Hills. And with that support, we have been able to thrive. We have challenged ourselves with classes that seem daunting. We have become experts in our fields with eye-opening research. We have applied, interviewed for, and accepted internships and jobs that have helped shape us as professionals. We have gone above and beyond by balancing teams, clubs, research projects, conferences, publications, and patents. We have taken our knowledge, skills, and tools and put them to use every day. You see, us WPI graduates have the ability to take our unique nexus of academics research, and global real-world experience to catapult ourselves further than most could imagine. So please, take the time to reflect on it all. The bittersweet moments that you earned and deserved happen because of yourself and that support system who will continue working to help you shine. I also implore you to take a moment to look forward at, is what, at what has yet to come. Look at it dead in the eye with a fierce confidence which you have earned the right to grasp firmly. Look at the future and know that you will thrive. On days where you feel like you're on top of the world, you will thrive. 
on days where you feel doubtful and nervous, you will thrive. Class of 2021, you have made the impossible your life and that is something to celebrate. Because of the knowledge you have worked for, you will thrive. Because of your inquisitive minds and generous hearts, you will question outdated status quos and unjust ways to work towards quantifiable change and help each other thrive. My hope for you in the next chapter of life, whether that be a full-time job, more graduate school, starting a family, living on your own for the first time, or just figuring out what is your next step, is that you take the expected and unexpected in full stride, for you are fully equipped to do so. Enjoy all the moments, good and bad. Hold on to who you are, never forgetting the tireless effort you put into getting there. And finally, after you leave this glorious, momentous day, I urge you to remember, while you may be slightly unsure, you are ready to begin and without a doubt will thrive. Class of 2021, congratulations, we did it. Thank you for those inspiring words, Giovanni. Well, at any other point, uh, any other year at this point in the ceremony, I would be introducing our 2021 commencement speaker and give out some honorary degrees. But this is a unique and special year, and so we have a unique and special approach to that this year. So we will be marking this unique set of commencement ceremonies with some special remarks and greetings from some very special people. Let's watch. Today, I am so glad to have this opportunity to congratulate you on your graduation from WPI, one of our greatest assets in both central Massachusetts and the entire Commonwealth. I also wanna thank President Leshen for your leadership. You've been an incredible partner to Governor Baker and our administration throughout this past year. Now in any year, completing a degree in higher education is a tremendous achievement, requiring years of hard work, and discipline, and persistence while you look forward to the possibilities that lie ahead. But especially at WPI, I know you have all been challenged with quite a rigorous curriculum that has prepared you to succeed in whatever path you choose. But this year more than ever, you have faced un unprecedented challenges on top of those that college and graduate students encounter every year as we continue to work through the challenges of a global pandemic. You have faced an abrupt transition to remote learning, increased stress due to health and financial concerns, social isolation, and the loss of many of the activities that give universities a sense of community that make them so special and, yes, fun. But despite these challenges unimaginable over a year ago, you have demonstrated incredible resilience and persistence to get through it all, not to mention attain an advanced degree. On behalf of our entire Commonwealth, I want you to know how proud we are of your accomplishment and how proud you should be too. As graduates of WPI, and especially as graduates in this difficult year, you are a group of resilient, brilliant problem solvers who are well prepared to create value and achieve your dreams wherever they may take you. And while I know this ceremony and this last year may not have gone just the way you had imagined, I am confident that your experience at WPI and throughout this pandemic has given you the skills you need to succeed no matter what challenges may come in your future. I look forward to seeing you all accomplish your goals and the next steps. And I hope many of you will just take a few steps off that campus and keep your talents right here in Massachusetts, where we need all of you and the bright young minds that we can get to continue to power our innovation economy forward. And I know we all look forward to brighter days ahead just around the corner as we continue to stop the spread, get shots in arms, get to the other side of COVID. Can't come fast enough for all of you. So proud of you. Enjoy this moment. This is your day. 
and we look forward to the wonderful opportunities that lie ahead for you. Hello, WPI Class of 2021. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson here, your personal astrophysicist, and I'm just bidding you congratulations. Uh, you guys are one of two COVID classes, right? Class of 2020 and the class of 2021. And, you know, when I think of pandemics, you know, I think of stuff that happened 100 years ago. So now I'm imagining when all of you are like grandparents, right? And you're on the porch in a rocking chair and all your grandkids come around, gee, grandpa, grandpa, grandma, tell me about the great pandemic. Oh, way back in 2021. Yeah, we lived through that. Oh my gosh. And you'll have all the stories for all your grandkids. So uh, so I think how the present becomes the past as they fade into distant memories of those who carry it with them. I, I don't know if you know this, but I'm also technically a graduate of WPI. Several years back, the Board of Trustees awarded me an honorary doctorate. So technically, I'm also a graduate. And, you know, I they gave me some you know, trinkets and you know, collectibles. One of them was a t-shirt with your battle song on it. And I don't know if it's quite a battle song. What how does it go? Let me see if I if I can remember it. I'll close my eyes. I have it written on the inside of my eyelids, ready? E to the I? No. E I got it. E to the X. D Y D X. E to the X D X. How am I doing so far? Good? Okay. <laughs> Cosine secant tangent sine 3.14159. Oh uh, wait, there's more. Give me a second. E I radical pi fight fight WPI. Okay, that wins all geek awards there ever was, okay? <laughs> so I was not gonna wear that t-shirt in public. Just I'm telling you, just telling you right now, just telling you, okay? But I did wear it to the fitness center, okay? So I'm there, <laughs> it's fine. Everybody's wearing some interesting clothing in the fitness center, so I'm wearing your t-shirt, our fighting, fighting song. So I'm there and people walk by and you know how a dog hears a high pitch it can't understand and has to sort of tip its head? That's what people are doing as they walk by. They're looking at the shirt and they're doing this and, it, and they're just trying to, trying to grok it and they can't because first, it doesn't really make sense anyway. <laughs> but also, what the hell are all those symbols? So I just want you to know to whatever extent I can express school spirit, I've done it in the fitness center. And, you know, I'm old enough to remember when being a geek, you were, you know, that was not a point of pride. You, you hid that, you tried to hide it. Because geeks are the ones that got beaten up by the football players and shoved into the lockers and got their books thrown on the ground. And, and so, so that's how old I am, because I remember that. And, you know, the, the, the geek set, were, they were the meek the meek little did the rest of society know that we would all grow up and then run the world okay it's that's the great comeback on that one all right the richest people in the world are geeks okay so that so that's why i think yeah i've said this before that you know in the bible where it says and the meek shall inherit the earth they kind of did they kind of did and maybe what that passage should have said is, and the geek shall inherit the earth. Anyhow, uh, congratulations on surviving this very difficult year. And uh, just remember, as scientifically literate as all of you are, it amounts to nothing if nobody else is scientifically literate. So some part of your mission statement, your personal mission statement, I think needs to be how can you share your depth of knowledge and insight on the operations of nature and science and science discovery and what role it plays in the health and wealth of civilization itself? And how can we become better shepherds of tomorrow 
by understanding how and why things happen the way they do today, you can't keep that to yourself. You got to share it. Otherwise, I think your degree is for nothing. So, anyhow, I, I bid you farewell. Uh, good luck. Sometimes you need a little bit of that too. And at some point, turn around and thank the people who supported you over your years at WPI. Keep looking up. Thank you. Thank you to Lieutenant Governor Polito and to Neil deGrasse Tyson for taking the time to honor you, this extraordinary class in these extraordinary times. I am uh, excited that we're now to the fun part where we get to confer your degrees. And although you are not here with us to cross the stage and elbow bump me, just know we are here live and we will be applauding for each and every one of you. Okay, graduates, are you ready? We shall now confer degrees in course. Madam President, the candidates to be introduced here have completed the academic requirements for the doctoral master's and bachelor's degrees as prescribed by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. They have pursued studies in the arts and sciences, business, and engineering. Madam President, these candidates have completed the requirements of the university, and the faculty recommends them to you for the doctoral master's and bachelor's degree in their respective fields of study. Thank you, Provost Sobeyejo. For the graduates out there, I would ask you to stand if you are able while I confer your degree. Ready? By the authority of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts granted to the trustees of Worcester Polytechnic Institute and entrusted by them to me, I now confer upon you the degree you have earned in your respective field of study with all the associated rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations to the graduates. Now let's read your names. For the PhD, Julia Galato, Biology and Biotechnology. Robert Orr, Biology and Biotechnology. Nguyen Vo, Data Science. Min Tri Ho Tan, Physics. Kirthi Vidula, Electrical and Computer Engineering. Shyam Patel, Robotics Engineering. For the master's degree, Asma El Kapi, Biology and Biotechnology. Yanbi Jong, Biology and Biotechnology. Aaron Alphonsus, Computer Science. Zekun Dai, Computer Science. Hanwen Hong, Computer Science. Enzo Liu, Computer Science. Jean Baptiste Trong, Computer Science. Yunyao Wu, Computer Science. Du Fai Yang Xu, Computer Science. Yichin Zhao, Computer Science. Yannick Haas, 
data science. Xin Lu He, data science. Xiao Shui Li, data science. Varun Bhatt, Interactive Media and Game Development. Jufeng Guo, Interactive Media and Game Development. Jichuan Wang, Interactive Media and Game Development. Fan Bu, Applied Statistics. Jun Gong Bu, Financial Mathematics. Peng Tsai, Applied Statistics. Yi Yang Chu, Financial Mathematics. Bo Ming Chen, Applied Statistics. Huixin Chen, Financial Mathematics. Madhusri Chowdhury, Mathematical Sciences. Jing Guo, Financial Mathematics. Yani Ode, Perry Okone, Applied Statistics. Yuchen Yan, Applied Statistics. Sandra Duarte, Biomedical Engineering. Nicole Matson, Biomedical Engineering. Zoe Horton, Chemical Engineering. Michael Corey, Systems Engineering. Kyle Hastings, Systems Engineering. Demetrius Kukuvis, Systems Engineering. Genuine Liu, Electrical and Computer Engineering. John Morgan, Systems Engineering. David Patterson, Systems Engineering. Dana Rutsis, Systems Engineering. Samuel Webster, Systems Engineering. Abdul Rahman El Robayan, Fire Protection Engineering. Vun Li Ko, Fire Protection Engineering. John Walser, Fire Protection Engineering. Sinead Flanagan, Mechanical Engineering. Siyu Gui, Material Science and Engineering. Matthew Jokum, Mechanical Engineering. Alexander Marhevka, Manufacturing Engineering. Huizhong Yu, Material Science and Engineering. Ajit Balasubramanian, Robotics Engineering. Ryan Farron, Robotics Engineering. Jessica Herman, Robotics Engineering.
Ranak Hosangadi, Robotics Engineering. Eric Kurtz, Robotics Engineering. Shihan Ma, Robotics Engineering. Jordan Nelson, Robotics Engineering. Xiaolin Zhen, Robotics Engineering. Wei Li, Operations Analytics and Management. Guanqi Ma, Operations Analytics and Management. Paige Newman, Management. Ching Wen Soon, Innovation with User Experience. Chong Tong, Operations Analytics and Management. Shulin Yan, Operations Analytics and Management. Jia Cheng Yu, Supply Chain Management. Wei Yu Yin, Marketing and Innovation. For the bachelor's degree, Malik El Shaks, Computer Science. Irakli Grigolia, Computer Science. Jordan Stossel, Computer Science. Maya Soon, Computer Science. Allison Steves, Professional Writing. Courtney Flacos, Interactive Media and Game Development. Kwabena Adbatewa Badu, Mathematical Sciences. William Cooley, Aerospace Engineering. Kayla Crom, Biomedical Engineering. Joseph Lee, Biomedical Engineering. Fan Lin Don Tron, Biomedical Engineering. Siyan She, Biomedical Engineering. Abdullah Osam A. Abusad, Chemical Engineering. Abdul Rahman Khalil A. Alatik, Chemical Engineering. Omar Ali Algarni, Chemical Engineering. Jasmine Sanchez, Civil Engineering. Victoria Collar, Mechanical Engineering. Chen Shi Li, Mechanical Engineering. Anavat Siabwala, Mechanical Engineering. John Hong Huang, Robotics Engineering. Jialin Song, Robotics Engineering. Yi Chen Yong, Robotics Engineering. Ming Chung Ju, Robotics Engineering. Jian Chi Zhong, Industrial Engineering.
What an inspiring group of graduates. Well, everyone watching everywhere, please give these graduates a huge round of applause. Join me, let's give them all a big round of applause. Oh, I'm so proud of all of you. What a wonderful group. Now, uh, one last thing before we close. You are the newest alumni of WPI, and so we bring greetings to you from the president of the WPI Alumni Association, Mark McCauley. Let's watch. President Leshen, trustees, parents, spouses, family, friends, and graduates. As president of the President Leshen, trustees, parents, spouses, family, friends, and graduates. As president of the WPI Alumni Association, I am honored to welcome the 2021 graduates into the extended family of WPI alumni. Like many WPI alumni, I have come to know our community as a family with broad and deep roots. Indeed, some WPI roots go very deep, reaching back generations. No matter how far we scatter, our triumphs and our trials are shared. There is great comfort in that, and in knowing that nearly anywhere you travel, you can find someone with a shared experience who can offer advice, counsel, and friendship, the sweetest influence. That is the true strength of the more than 150-year-old WPI family. The WPI Alumni Association is a global dynamic force spanning more than 40,000 people in over 100 countries. And you can benefit greatly from this worldwide community as long as you maintain your interest in and connection to it. Be sure to follow WPI and WPI alumni on social media and check your email often for news about WPI and the many opportunities to stay connected to your friends and your alma mater. In my role as Alumni Association President, I've been fortunate to meet, listen to, and laugh with many of our alumni and with many of you. We share a vision to constantly improve and elevate this institute, as well as assist with the upward march of humanity and technology. I challenge you to use your talents and education to make a positive impact on the world in areas that WPI has specifically trained you in and for those areas you haven't yet imagined. As important, I challenge you to bring WPI along for the ride and let us know the impact you are making. This university is an amazing idea factory and we as alumni have a responsibility to be its greatest advocate in our local communities. When someone asks you where you went to school, say, I earned my degree from the best engineering, science and business school in Massachusetts, Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Let me tell you about it. Your degree comes with privileges and responsibilities. I hope you will think of both as you leave today. I ask you to be generous with your time, talent, and treasure in the years to come. I promise it will be one of your best investments. On behalf of the Alumni Association, I congratulate you. I welcome you to our family, and above all else, remember, you always have a home on the hill. Thank you, Mark McCauley. And as we get ready to close this first ever virtual commencement ceremony at WPI, I just want to one more time offer my heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2021. We are all so incredibly proud of you. And I look forward to the day when you can visit campus and we can, uh, we can see each other in person and say congratulations again. Thank you so much, and now I will hand it back to Trustee Joyce Klein to close the ceremony. Bye, everyone. Thank you, President Leshen. Congratulations to all of the graduates, to your families, and to your loved ones. As both President Leshen and Alumni Association President Mark McCauley mentioned, you always have a home here on the hill at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. We welcome you back 
and hope that you will maintain close ties with us as you move forward in all of your future activities and endeavors. We wish you great success and also look forward to when you can come back here and return to this beautiful WPI campus. Thank you.